Hey, let's say you have modeled a door or a gate family as an in-place component for a specific project and you want to add that in-place component to your door schedule and door legend. In this video, I will share a workaround with you that will allow you to convert that into a proper door family. So you can add it to your door schedule and door legend. Let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as you can see, I've already created this gate model as an in-place component or uh, using a model in place. So let's see how we can convert this in-place component uh, into a Revit door family. So first, let's select this model and click edit in place. And here we first need to uh, create a group of this. So let's select all of this and I'm going to click here to create a group. Let's call it double gate. Hit OK. Now we need to export this group. So let's go to file. And here instead of export, we need to go to uh, save as. And then library. Here we have group. Just click it. And let's call it double gate. Just leave the settings as they are. Here just make sure you have selected the same group. Double gate and let's click save now the family has been exported let's click finish model and i'm going to open that family which we just exported let's go to open here select family here we have it let's open this up now the first thing which you need to do here is that you need to change the family category Right now it's generic model as you can see here. So to change the family category, you need to click here, family category and parameters. Here look for door, we'll just press D. Here we have doors, let's select that and click OK. As you can see, the family category has been changed and as soon as we change the family category, the new parameters will be added uh, here. We have width and height parameter automatically added. Uh, we'll talk about these parameters in a moment. Uh, let's click OK and let's load this family into our project. As you can see, we have this family loaded here. Let's hit escape and go back to the top view. And now you will find that family in the door category here. Here we have it. Let's place it here. Now let's create a new schedule. I'm going to right click here then select new schedule let's select door let's select doors hit ok and I'm going to load type mark and width and height let's click ok here we go as you can see the width and height is not showing up here as well as the type mark uh, if you want to change the type mark we can just go back to the plan view and I'm going to select this edit type and here we have the type mark let's say it's gate 1 for the reference and if I scroll up here we have width and height parameter uh, we just need to put dummy values here so the size of this gate is 3 by 2.6 meters so I'm just going to put that here the width 3 meter and the height is 2.6 let's click apply okay the, nothing will be changed here it's not going to affect on this because we have not created any parameters but the width and height values will be visible here as you can see we now have the width and height let's quickly add a door tag just go to annotate and click tag by category as i hover over the gate we will see the tag ok i will remove the leader there we go let's drag this tag here now let's add this uh, gate family into a draw legend so let's expand this as you can see i have already created a draw legend i've created this table here now let's quickly add a legend component so let's go to annotate and then click this drop down 
select legend component and I'm just going to place it here now we can select this and search for git here we have it double git let's click on it there we go now I'm just going to copy this for the elevation let's select that and change the view to elevation front there we go as you can see it's working fine so we can simply add the dimensions and change the tag as well let's make it g1 and the size of this gate is 3 by 2.6 meters so it will be 260 centimeter and so that's how you can convert your in place components into a door family of course you can use the same method to convert any uh, in place component into a revit family you just need to change the family category it can be anything here you can choose windows or furniture or whatever you want so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon and get access to over 100 revit project files your support on patreon helps me create new videos every week thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one